from WTDG Toledo, Bridges, with your host, Donnie Miller, connecting our community with information about issues and opportunities. Hey, good Sunday morning and welcome to Bridges. I'm so glad to have you here. You will be glad to be here as well because we are talking about some wonderful things happening in Monroe this weekend. You guessed it right. This is the weekend of the River Raisin Jazz Festival, and we are talking to my great friend, John Patterson, who's responsible for pulling that all together. You've done it again, my friend. Well, you all have done it again here. Look at this fabulous this cool, set. Look this at this. Cool. This, this is, is great. beautiful. This and, is great. Uh, we have our own, like, wonderful camera people, too. This oh, is yeah. pretty cool. Lovely camera people. Yeah. Not nearly as great as what's going on this weekend, I, though. We, we've got a great festival going on, and, mm -hmm. you know, here we are on Sunday morning, and, uh, it's been a great weekend, and uh, we've had Bob James and Alexander Zonchik and Chris Standering and all of these wonderful folks. And I think I sent you a little graphic, didn't I? Of, we did. We'll get that up sometime okay. during our time um, with you. This is my show. Let us do this. All right. All right. Um, and, of course, t today we've got um, Arturo Sandoval, which is an amazing story. If folks don't know uh, about Arturo, um, he came here from Cuba, started playing trumpet at a very early age. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, loved Dizzy Gillespie, befriended uh, Dizzy, who f saw him performing, and uh, they uh, became very close. And uh, Dizzy actually, a uh, beautiful shot of his new album, Dear Diz, which is a tribute to Dizzy. Uh, Every Day I Think of You, fabulous record. I have to get you a copy of it. Yeah, I love um, that. That is a great shot. The man is a great trumpet player. He's a fabulous uh, keyboard player. Uh, he sings like an angel. Um, in fact, the last song on the record called Dear Diz um, is, a, is a vocal tune that he does, and um, just spectacular. And, and Dizzy was actually responsible for him getting his citizenship really? here in the U.S. and becoming um, a, a U.S. citizen. You have an amazing lineup this year. How did you, you're, but your, your lineups are consistently wonderful. Um, is we, that you? We've tagged our lineups uh, uh, legends because we've been blessed to have, you know, legends. We've had Earl Clue, we've had Spyro Gyra, oh. Chris Bodie, Chuck Mangione, the list goes on and on. And, you know, quite honestly, uh, Donnie, it's, it's luck. Is it really? Uh, a small festival like ours in a small community like Monroe, we're totally dependent on the routing of these musicians. And um, David Sanborn, for example, a couple of years ago, it just so happened when, when we called, he was going to be in Cleveland one night and interlocking three nights later in Chicago four nights. And so we were kind of in route, and it just kind of fell into play and, and worked. Kenny G last year, he was on vacation, flew himself uh, into Monroe on his own private plane, uh, played uh, with our good friend Alexander Zonchik and hopped on his plane and flew back to vacation afterwards. Yeah, you guys may not know that uh, much of the jazz for the last couple of years, not this year, unfortunately, but the last couple of years that we've had in Toledo was uh, the result of John bringing acts into Toledo. Um, you absolutely, you actually brought Nelson Rangel in for yeah, Neighborhood Nelson House. Nelson several times. We did that fundraiser for you yeah, that was Night of a the Savoy. wonderful event. That was great, yeah. And uh, we've had Alexander Zonchik play here. Uh, Chuck Loeb played a couple of times and uh, Rick Braun. And, and you know, we found that um, in the absence of terrestrial radio, um, that a, one way we can keep the word out about our festival is by doing little shows here and there. And Toledo's very receptive. Great jazz audiences here in Toledo. Uh, of course, you had the Art Tatum Festival for many years, so right, big, right. big jazz. We miss you this space. summer, though. Any chance that you'll be back down here with anything? Um, there's rumor that one of the clubs uh, may start up again after Labor Day, mm -hmm. but I'll let you know. And uh, appreciate your support because you yeah. were always out there with oh, us. Oh, it's because I'm a big jazz fan. We missed the I Navy Bistro. It. You know that was big hit on yeah, the patio that was. there. Yeah, that was fabulous. We'd get four or five hundred people on a Wednesday night. You know, which was just incredible. But um, yeah, we'll we'll keep plugging. But we're going to have a lot of fun today in Monroe. We've got the fine art fair going on, and uh, of course, you know, our good friend Scott Bentley is here with us today. You're going to talk to him in a minute. Yeah, we're going to. Scott's going to join us in the in the second segment. The um, battlefield is open, and we'd love to see folks out there. And and we have a shuttle bus that runs people around a little bit. And but uh, lots of great food at the festival. St. Mary Catholic Central High School does all of our concessions. We don't have any wow. other vendors. And. Um, it's a great fundraiser for them, and we're told we have some of the best festival food in the business. Is there a cost? This is a free festival, folks. 
F-R-E-E, -E, free, thanks to our me. sponsors. Really? And um, it's one of the largest free festivals in the Great Lakes area. We get about 50,000 people for the weekend, and if the rain doesn't scare them away. And so... So Aturo is the major event today? He is the headliner, uh, uh, Magnifico. <laughs> today. What yeah. time is uh, he scheduled to come on? Do you remember? 7.30. So this evening, yep, he's the yeah, last. the concert actually runs from noon until ten, um, and he is. But lots of stuff before he comes. Well, the on. the art fair downtown is going on. Um, we have a second stage in the downtown area that runs from noon to six uh, with local musicians. In fact, uh, Morgan Stiegler is going to be there from Toledo. Cool. Um, and we have. Um, Again, that shuttle that goes back and forth from the art fair to the main park in the in St. Mary's Park, where Arturo's performing. Uh, it starts at one o'clock, mm -hmm. and um, great lineup there. Uh, Kelly Minucci plays at five forty-five. Wow! And um, yeah, just a great, great lineup. David Miles and the Milestones. I don't know if you remember them from Detroit. Um, Are they? They're jazz as well. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, and I don't uh, he's played with all the big names. Um, we have a group called Soundproof that has played several times here in mm -hmm. Toledo, always a big hit. Mm -hmm. They have a wonderful vibraphone player that uh, uh, kind of amazes the audience. And so it's going to be a great day. Uh, so historically you've gotten a lot of crowds for this, a big oh, crowd. Big from crowd. day one, you know, we were blessed um, when I called my good friend Zonchik uh, back in 2002 and uh, decided we were going to have a festival. It was one day the first year and it was such a great success that um, the sponsors were very happy and said, you know, well, maybe we can expand this a little bit. And yeah. it became two days the second year. First year, I think we had about 20,000 people. The first year, you had 20,000. But, you know, going back to that radio thing, you know, V98.7, the smooth jazz station in Detroit, was the number one station in the country at that time. I mean, they had a listening audience of 500,000 people, you know, and so mm. to get the word out for these festivals was very easy. Yeah. And thank God we got established before that um, genre changed, before they changed the format. Have you heard any discussion about bringing that format back? There's always there? discussion, but I don't know Not anybody much. that's... Because it's been on and off a couple of different times As like that. We're talking about the jazz Cleveland station. just got their smooth jazz station back, but they're Do calling they? it contemporary jazz. Um, they're not playing just jazz music, but that was the format in Detroit. I mean, you could hear Phil Collins or um, or uh, Wynton Marsalis uh, yeah. on the same station, and people really liked that diversity, you know, because let's face it, as much as we love jazz, if you had to listen to it 24 hours a day, you'd probably go a little nuts. Yeah, it'd be a little redundant. So a we have got um, uh, Arturo Sandoval this weekend, and um, unfortunately, you've missed Bob James and some of the other guys. Great so. story with Bob. You know, he is the uh, considered the godfather of smooth jazz. Yeah. Uh, fusion also. Uh, his music is not everyone's taste, but uh, if you know the TV show Taxi, uh, Bob wrote all the theme music for that. And uh, he discovered our Alexander Zonchik uh, at Baker's Keyboard Lounge. He was uh, in, in Detroit. Detroit? And yeah. Alex was performing. He walked in, enjoyed him so much. He said, "Hey, I'm putting a new band together. Would you like to go to Japan with me?" And of course, Alex said yes. And they toured the world the together, played history. at Carnegie Hall, and all kinds of places. The rest is history. Jonathan, um, can we put that poster up of the of the jazz festival? Do you have it back there? This is a wonderful poster. I want you guys to see it. Wonderful flyer. Oh, looks like we can't get that done. That's, That's too right. bad. We can't get that done. I wish you guys could see this. It's a fabulous um, flyer. Uh, talks about the River Raisin Festival, but. It's second best. We'll just give you the information. It's today from noon to 10 at St. Mary's Park in downtown Monroe, Michigan. It's a fabulous festival, free admission. Um, Arturo Sandoval is on at 7.30, 7.30, but Chelly Minucci and several other folks ahead of him, that is really the place to be today miss it and you'll be really sorry you did. And we always get a great audience from Toledo. You know, I always go out at the biggest time of the night and do a little, uh, how many people here from Detroit and how many here from Ann Arbor and Toledo always has a very nice... We, we represent, huh? Oh, yeah. We represent. Time. It's because they watch Donnie Miller on TV. <laughs> As well they should. Right. We're going to be joined by someone who's going to tell you about some fabulous things happening of a historical nature up in Monroe when we return, so don't go away. You'll miss something. We'll be right back.